What is going on guys? Greggles TV. I have a kid and one of the most annoying things ever is when you watch a video on YouTube with your kid, they start touching the screen, they make it change to another video, they make it just change to another app or they delete something or they move your apps around, all that stuff. It's super annoying if you have a kid and you totally know what I'm talking about. And there's an app now I found that's called TouchLock. It's a free app and uh, super easy. All you do is click on install it. Let's get it installed first. And it's going to allow you to block out those things so the kid can't mess up the screen for you, or at least try its best not to. So open up the app for the first time. It's gonna give you a privacy policy. If you decline it, it's gonna go away. So hit accept. Now you're gonna say, you need to allow overlay, which says to let you prevent accidental screen touch. Touch lock needs you to allow overlay permission. So hit allow and then hit there. So it allows the permission. Then hit your back button. And then you need to see, click on how to enable. It's gonna show you how to enable it. You just swipe down from the top and enable it. Let's do that right now. And you'll see touch lock is right here. You just tap it and it is now enabled. So if I try to you know, move the screen, it's not gonna do anything. And to unlock it, you just double tap right here and it unlocks it for you. It's that simple. So let's hit the uh, home button. We're gonna go here, we're gonna open up YouTube and I doubt your kids are going to watch Greggles TV, but maybe they will. So let's load up a Greggles TV video. So I'll hit Greggles TV on here. It's playing. Let's mute the sound on here. I'm going to swipe down from the top and I'm going to enable this. So now you'll see it's enabled. And if I press somewhere, it doesn't pop up. It's not going to say anything about, oh, when you change the video or whatever. It does pop up this thing doubled here. Tap here to unlock. It'll show you where to unlock it. So hopefully your kid's not that smart that they know to double tap it. Or even if they press it once, it's not going to unlock. It can drag around. It doesn't do anything. It's really actually pretty cool that it blocks all that stuff out so the kid can't mess up the video. If you turn it this way, it'll still go uh, landscape. Uh, it just won't again, be able to change it. And if they want to unlock it, they're going to have to double tap that and that unlocks it, which is cool. Now, if you want, you can remove ads because every time you unlock it, sometimes you get an ad in there. So it costs $2.99 to unlock the ads. I'd actually recommend it at that point so that you don't see the ads because it gets kind of annoying or you can get three for free by you know looking at ads or whatever. But if you want to remove the ads, just tap that and uh, you can buy it for $2.99 to unlock the ads. Another cool thing is if you open the TouchLock app just from like your apps, you can go in here and customize it a lot. Now I've already purchased the premium stop ads for $2.99. I had a ton of credits just basically doing Google surveys. So to me, it's not a big deal to get the $2.99 and I don't have to see the, ad, the, the ads on there. Unlock method, you can go in here and you can customize it. You can kick it, keep it to quick taps. And you can do two, three, or four taps in order to unlock it. I, I did it at four, just to be safe. You can also apply a pin to quick tap. So in order for them to unlock it, they have to know the pin. You can use fingerprint if that way, if that way works for you. I tried the fingerprint, doesn't work for me, so I can't use it on my Galaxy Note 9. You can hide unlock screen animations, volume buttons. You can um, lock those so that they can't make it louder. When the screen's locked, they can't make the volume uh, louder or softer. It'll just stay at what it's set at. Uh, notification panel and virtual keys, those are locked. You can go in here and pocket incoming call protect, uh, face touching protect, and Viber call protect. You can also go into advanced settings. And under advanced settings is tons of stuff. So you can incoming call unlock. You can automatically unlock when a call is received. Um, you can get the hint bubble of unlocking method. Basically, when you unlock it or you're trying to unlock it, it shows you that little bubble saying, hey, tap over here to unlock it. All kinds of settings in here. But basically, what you're concerned with is just getting this so your kid, when they watch videos or do certain things in here, mostly videos, because I can't imagine you're going to do pretty much anything else, that they can't touch the screen. So I'll open up YouTube again for you. Put it on this video. Just rewind it a little bit. And when I lock it, touch unlock, we'll just show you again, it's locked. Or it's gonna be locked in a second. I'll just lock it, there you go, it's locked. So if the kid wants to use this and they move around, they can't do it. 
they're going to have to quadruple here to unlock. And I like that. When a quadruple is a little bit harder, they're going to have to literally tap that four times right there. Maybe they'll be able to do it. And then you can hide that too if you want. If you don't want to see that, remember, it's in the, the advanced settings to hide that. And that's pretty much it, guys. That is the app for you. And it's a free app. You saw, but you can also pay to um, get the ads and things to go away. But regardless, it's a cool app. I'm glad I found it. And hopefully it helps you guys out as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road. Peace.